Um, I'm just going to ask you a few questions. Um, and I will start with basically, um, you know, how rare is this to get a, a earthquake of this size off the coast of Florida? Earthquakes in Florida are rare. They're not non-existent. Um, kind of the, the the biggest one that we know about was in uh, 1879, kind of in northern Florida, and that was enough to cause some minor damage. But as anybody that's been in Florida for a while knows that it's it's not very typical. And actually, most calls that we get uh, for shaking turn out to be something else like a, a sonic boom. And you said, um, you know, you're trying to figure out what was the mechanism. Was it on a fault or 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 what, what would the are there any faults in that location? That well, we don't have any mapped faults in that location, but all earthquakes do happen on a fault. So there's definitely a fault there. We don't know anything about this fault. And this earthquake was small enough that it's, it was hard to characterize exactly um, kind of how that rupture happened. Did it happen like the San Andreas, which is a strike slip fault where they slip by each other? Or was it more of a, a thrust fault like you have at the big subduction zones where one plate goes under the other plate? We just can't tell with small earthquakes like this. And you know, if there's Floridians who are now thinking, huh, well, we can't get earthquakes in Florida. Um, what warning mechanisms do we have in place in Florida? I don't know if it's the same every state in the country. I would, or maybe it's it's a more sophisticated warning system, say out in California. Well, they have um, in California, they have have more earthquakes and they've just okay. started um, a um, system there that's called earthquake early warning. And what that does is it can give you a few seconds of warning, up to a minute. If there's an earthquake, um, then you can broadcast faster um, than the earthquake waves actually travel. So we're not predicting earthquakes, but we can, um, from when that earthquake happens, we can tell people that shaking's coming a few seconds before. Um, these are very expensive systems, and Florida doesn't have a lot of earthquakes, so it may be a while until something like that is installed in Florida. Okay, but I guess if you want to comfort viewers, uh, you could just tell them, like, generally speaking, they're very rare, and generally in Florida, they're not massive, destructive earthquakes. I would say generally, yes, they we you know you can't you can't say anything for sure, but Florida is a very stable um, area for earthquakes. We don't have a lot of lot of earthquakes there. It is possible, like I said, in 18, what was it, 1879, I think, there was an earthquake that caused some damage. It wasn't, uh, it wasn't, wasn't extreme damage, but, but it is possible. Um, on, on, this, on this note, though, you do um, take precautions in for Florida and things like hurricanes. So, you know, you have, you have a disaster plan, and this is a good reminder just to review that disaster plan, make sure you have water, make sure you have a way to uh, contact your loved ones after a natural disaster. Yeah, that's a good point. You kind of, and there's similar preparation for hurricanes as you would for an earthquake. True. Yeah.